Hello everybody, I thought I'd make a little tutorial video on how to navigate Rec Room when you're brand new. After all, this is the season most new players join the game, so if you are new, welcome to Rec Room and here are 20 tips to get you started. Number 1. Starting out. When you first start Rec Room, you will customize your avatar. When it's time to choose a username, if you can't think of one, just hit the dice icon and one will be auto-generated. Afterwards, you can go on the RecNet website and log in and change it. You can change it once every 180 days, but you can actually change your display name, which appears above your head, multiple times a week. Number 2. Orientation. You then have to go through orientation, which is kind of an Annoying. Season players laugh at orientation and sometimes send each other there as a prank. You can speedrun it if you want. Coach has some important information about the game though, so consider it a mandatory tutorial, after which you get a key to your dorm. Number three, your dorm. When you first spawn into your dorm, go check out the mirror. There are five buttons. Customize is for putting together your avatar, anything from changing the color and style of your hair to clothing items. Dorm skins are a quick way to make your dorm look unique. Outfits are where you save each one of your avatar's custom looks. Just hit the save button and whenever you want to change outfits, go into your profile and hit the clothing hanger icon on the left. If you're in your dorm, the Outfits button in the mirror will also bring this up. The Rec Room Plus button is there to promote, obviously, Rec Room Plus. You will get 1,500 tokens a week, plus a four-star clothing item, extra outfit slots, the ability to make custom shirts, and sell your inventions for tokens, among other perks. The Custom Shirts button is to find shirts made from people in the community. I imagine in the future this button may say Custom Clothing instead, especially if they choose to add things like hoodies and hats, etc. Number four, how to play. Once you have your avatar all ready, check out what your watch has to offer. It looks overwhelming at first, but all you should worry about exploring right away is the play button on the top left. Check out the Recom Originals tab and try some of the quests like Golden Trophy or Isle of Lost Skulls. If you like PvP games, try Paintball or Rec Royale. If you hit the hot tab and then check Featured, you can actually see staff picks for rooms of the week that have been chosen. I find you can't go wrong exploring these as well. When you go to a room, it will always prompt you to choose public or private. If you choose a public instance, other random people can join. If you choose private, you have to invite friends or you'll be by yourself. It's up to you. If you find a room that you like, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and the star icons to cheer the room and save it to your favorite. You can find these under the This Room tab in your watch. Don't skip exploring classic community-made rooms either. Aladdin, Starfall, Dragon Legend, San Fran, Hugo, and the Ride of Jumbotron are some that you should definitely check out. Number five, Rec Room Reward Boxes. When you play Rec Room Original Games, you have a chance at the end of each game to get a box. You will see a prompt on your screen asking you to select one of three items. I always recommend choosing tokens over clothing unless it's something you love and will wear, or if it's a pricey rare item. Sometimes the only option is film though, or consumable. Number six, Making Friends. If you if you find someone you like and you want to be friends with them in the game, you can shake hands. Hold the pose until it says friends above your handshake. Alternatively, point at them to go into their profile and hit the add friend button. This will send them a request. You can also choose to party up, which means to form a group to travel in. The party up button is in your friend's profile, but you can also simply bump fists to do this. Then when you're choosing a map to travel to, always hit the invite party prompt after selecting a private or public instance of a room. Number seven, game settings. Spend a moment in your game settings to optimize. When you open your watch, it's the gear button on the top right. Here are some examples. Under the controls tab, turn on auto sprint to move faster. You can choose seated or standing mode depending on, you guessed it, whether you're standing or sitting down. In the experience tab, you can slide a bar to appear online to everyone, only friends, only favorite friends, or no one. You can select your language as well, and under the safety heading, select whether or not you like an ignore bubble. This basically makes you invisible when people get too close. I've always turned mine off. Under the audio, feel free to turn voices, music, and ambience up or down. I usually prefer to have my voices the loudest and have my sounds around 60%. There's also a really annoying vignette, which is like a black ring around your eyes, you can turn that off in the comfort settings as well. It's supposed to help prevent motion sickness, but some people just find it annoying. You can also decide whether you want your watch notifications on or off, or only on for certain things. Number eight, the backpack tab. If you want to take a photo, use your maker pen, or if you have Rec Room Plus and want to create custom shirts, all of these tools are found in your backpack tab. Also in your backpack tab are all of the item skins you've unlocked. These are sometimes available for purchase or earned by completing a set of challenges in the game. There's also a food section for all of your purchased or earned consumables. Rec Room has a lot of food. There's pizza, cake, donuts, pretzels, root beer, lattes, fancy bubbly, and more. It's great to share with friends or on a special occasion. Under the other section, this is where you'll find accumulated film filters, potions, which have special effects, and KO effects. Those sometimes appear over someone's head when you annihilate them in games like paintball. Number nine, events. If you want to get adventurous, check out the events tab, and you can actually attend a variety of events, anything from birthday parties to karaoke. It will advise you when the event is starting, and you can choose to RSVP if it's later or attend right away. Number 10, etiquette. Rec Room etiquette could be a whole video in itself, but for now, note these things. Don't spam invite other players. Maybe send two game invites and if they don't respond, let it go. Don't spam message people either. Try to not friendly fire in quests. People don't look kindly on that, especially when it happens constantly. Stand on the mat when you first start a quest so that everyone can start the game in a timely manner. Don't play music externally through your mic. Don't swear a bunch and use toxic language. Lots of players are kids and even adults don't want to hear that kind of stuff. When in doubt, just act like you would in real life in a public space. Don't beg for gifts. Don't abuse the moderation tools, including vote kicks. Overall, just use 
use common sense. Before we continue with the video, be sure to smash the like button and leave me a comment with your Rec Room username because I'm giving away three $25 Rec Room gift cards. Make sure it's your Rec Room ad and not your display name. The winners will be chosen on December 30th, so stay tuned. I'll send you a message in Rec Room on that day if you win. Now let's get back to the video. Number 11, blocking and fleeing people. If you find yourself around people you don't like, don't worry. You can always open your watch and hit the dorm room button. It'll always take you back to your own dorm alone, even if you're partied up with people. It's a great way to quickly flee. If it's just one person being annoying, point at them and mute or block them. This is a great feature and I think people often forget it exists. There's no reason to have to listen to toxic people rambling on. Mute, block, move on. Number 12, leveling up. Playing the game gives you XP and there are currently 50 levels in the game. If you see people who are level 50, chances are you can usually rely on them for information and help. All you level 50s out there watching this, be helpful to the new people. They may not know how to revive in quests or not friendly fire, but if they're new and willing to learn, we should all try to be accommodating. Every time you level up, you will get a gift box containing a clothing item. It gets harder to level up as time goes on and it typically takes players anywhere from a few months to a couple years to reach level 50, depending on how often they play Rec Room. Note that private instances don't give much, if any, XP. There is an XP cap per day and Rec Room Originals give you the most. Number 13, Rec Nut. Rec Room has a website, so don't forget to check it out. Log in with your username and password from the game and from there you can view all of your photos, look up your friends' profiles, buy gift cards, buy token bundles, view your favorite rooms, and more. I personally love using RecNet to save photos, explore new rooms, and look at contest winning maps. Number 14, the camera. One of my favorite Rec Room features is the camera. You can take a photo, set it to public or private, flip it around for selfies, put it on a tripod to go hands-free, take photos on a timer, print them depending on the room you're in, sometimes you can't, and create profile pictures. If you want to save a photo to hang up in your dorm, you can do that too. Print it, stick it on the wall, take out your maker pen, use the scale tool, freeze it, and boom. Also don't forget to save the room when you're done by going into this room and hitting save room. Number 15, Rec Room YouTubers. There are quite a few people who make Rec Room content on YouTube. They're typically known as Rec Tubers. I'm obviously one, but there are many like Bo, Soulfox Gaming, Harry Man Legs, Slat, Chubby or Snail, The RCL Man, and more. If you're interested in learning more about Rec Room, then definitely check out their channel. There's also a partner program in the game where you can use a code and then that creator gets paid from Rec Room a portion of the money that you spend. It's free for you. My code is Tara, and if you'd like to support me, you can actually enter that code in the play section of your watch. You can even look at my profile at Therapeutic and just hit the support button that way. Support lasts 45 days, so it has to be renewed periodically. Whichever creator you may choose to support, they definitely appreciate it as it helps us continue to make content. Number 16, the Rec Center. The Rec Center is like a social hub. You'll often find players hanging out in small groups or some random people running around, seemingly working off an endless sugar buzz. Regardless of the crazy energy that sometimes seems inevitable at the Rec Center, it's a great place to get your bearings and find some entertainment. There's a weekly storefront with items that rotate each Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. There's a friend of machine to send up to two friends a free random gift daily. There's a door to Ink Ink which features inventions from the community, an art gallery, and more. There's even doors to the quests and other Rec Room originals. Sometimes rare pop-up stores will appear here too. The Rec Center is often decorated depending on the season, so come check it out. Number 17, how to find people to hang out with. This one is tough because getting started in a social game like Rec Room can be very intimidating. I definitely remember how I felt two years ago when I first got my Quest 2 and downloaded the game. I was too shy to even speak. It can be difficult to open up, but just remember, you can always leave if you say something stupid. No one is judging you as much as you might think, and it's totally normal to tell people you're new to the game if you want help beating a quest or get some paintball tips. Most people are actually willing to help. There are a few bad apples, just like anywhere in life, but I guarantee once you start putting yourself out there, you will make decent friends. Number 18, the chat feature. If you're enjoying your new friendships, note that Rec Room has a built-in chat feature. You can message your friends, create group chats, and you can check these chats on RecNet also. Number 19, the maker pen. Rec Room is all about creating, so if you want to try your hand at the maker pen, try spawning in an invention in your dorm. Just go to the store tab in your watch, hit inventions, and search until you find something that you like. Once you hit the spawn button, pull out your maker pen and try moving it around with the tools section. You can scale it, move it, rotate it. After you're done, always freeze it in place if you don't want people to be able to grab it. Don't forget to go into this room tab in your watch and save the room periodically if you'd like to make these changes permanent. If you want to create an actual room, you can use the create tab in your watch. There are many templates to choose from that can easily be altered, or you can just start from scratch. If learning on your own is intimidating, go to recroom.com creative and sign up for a maker pen class. There are many for all skill levels. Number 20, the community. The last tip I have is about the community. It's not a huge one compared to games like Fortnite, Roblox, or Minecraft. Many of the staff, artists, creators, Rectubers, etc. know each other. The small community is what I love about the game. If you want to get creative and start being part of the creator economy, you will find a ton of people with similar interests. Sometimes when you're just playing Rec Room and you don't know anyone, it feels like a huge lonely space. But trust me, once you're around a while, you'll start noticing that it's not as big as you think. So definitely take advantage of this and be a positive part of this growing game. It's incredibly rewarding. If you have any tips for new players, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you watch this next video here.